everyone. So I promised you that I was going to give you the review for Fast and Furious as soon as possible, right? Well, the movie came out on 25th of June, that was last week, Friday, and I was able to quickly see it over the weekend so that I can give you this review quickly so that you can check it out. I hope you're tuning in. I remain your novel of the of the real every week. I try to talk about the latest movies that you can watch. This is the most talked after movie buzzing on the waves right now. Fast and Furious 9. Make sure you stay with me this week on the real while I tell you some things I liked and some things that I didn't like. Well, it was okay. But I know a lot of people are still going to see it, so see it for yourself and then we can talk about it. Stay with me this week while we discuss this movie called Fast and Furious. I used to live my life a quarter mile at a time. But things changed. My oh, father now. I will always be in your heart. Little Brian, I have a gift for you. Your daddy gave me this. No, I'm gonna give it to you. It's very special. It's for protection. From what's coming. Welcome back everyone. So good to always have you tuning in every weekend on The Real, making it a day with me. I'm always delighted to give you some tips from my movie reviews. This week, I said earlier, I was going to be talking about a nice movie called Fast and Furious 9. Well, for those of you who have been following through, it's been a long journey, right? From the eight, from the 90s, I guess, so 2000, where we started the Fast and Furious journey from one, two, three, four, five, and then you also have a few, had a few years ago the Bob's and um, Hobbs and Shaw, that was kind of like off the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are back with nine, and nine was just a similar way. So you know how they go off, try to find a solve a solution to a problem, and then they come back again. So nine, you had Van Diesel, who was the Tom guy normal living his life with Loretta and his son and all of a sudden two of his friends come again to tell him there's a problem and we have to solve it that is always how we start he didn't want to go initially and then all of a sudden at the side can't leave to leave his guys he has to fight with them and that was it the entire story it was just all about them trying to find solutions to problems so it was like um like a bowl he had two halves and one of the halves had already been like snatched by the bad guys and they needed the second half to be able to destroy the world it was it's like what's crazy what this can do when you put it together it can bring down the whole system computers phones camera everything together so they all had to make sure that they work together at some point the bad guys got hold of them tried to put them down and you know how it always ends with fast and furious they get away they try to escape and make out you know just try to escape and then of course solve the problem somehow one good lesson for me that I learned was the fact that, okay, at some point, I found that he was someone he knew, and then the person was even being used. He had to now work with them to solve the problem. That was the whole thing for this entire two hours, 15 minutes. So it was a long journey. I've loved the story of Fast and Furious so far. Don't get me wrong, it's always been interesting. But then, I like the way they start and the end, and then they always so make sure you sit down to the end, the very end, after the names, because they're going to show you a clip of something else that you should expect. From Fast and Furious 10. My problem. I think that the Fast and Furious stuff is dragging too long. So it's an adventure kind of drama movie. Always about two hours ago. Car racing, fighting. I love the cars. The cars are always sleek and nice. And it's always good the way they kind of come out. And then, but sometimes I think it's becoming unrealistic. Like, seriously. If I would suggest a game, not the fact that I'm not going to see Fast and Furious then, trust me, I'm still going to go so I can give you the review. But the fact that I would actually think that they should give it a break. So for me, I would think that they should give a break and then come up with something else. Maybe another movie, maybe another name. Just change the whole game and have something entirely different from this whole Fast and Furious. Because I'm wondering after 10, what next? So you're going to have 11 to 20? I don't know, but they told us a bit of what to expect in the next edition of Fast and Furious. It was nice. Um, I just felt that some of the things for me that are becoming sort of a bit realistic. So you have a bridge and then the bridge is down and then the car is riding in the air on the bridge. How? And then you have a car flying with one rope and getting to the other side. Please, how? The last one for me that just broke the coming back and I was like, okay, no, I'm not doing this again, was the last thing where the car and I had to do some work and I had to go out of space and show it. like, how? Okay, I'm just wondering to myself, so what are they going to do next? 
intend. I don't know, but I think some of the things are becoming unrealistic. I'm again tired. I love the action. I love the fun. Trust me. Some of those things are really cool, but mm, I'm kind of getting tired. So that's what I like. To my verdict, I'm going to score the movie a six point five. Fast and Furious was nice. A lot of people are going to enjoy the action. I am just getting worried that they're beginning to drag it too long and it's beginning to become unrealistic. That's my only problem. That's my problem. A lot of people have liked it and a lot of people have said, oh no, this is going too far. But trust me, it's an action movie, so you're going to definitely enjoy your time. It's going to be a time well spent. And the movie was directed by, um, by Justin Lee. Justin Lee directed the movie and of course, he also featured in the movie and then you had Van Diesel, you had Luther Chris, you had Ty Kipson, you had Jordan, Jordana Bristol and then you had Mitchell Rodriguez and Natalia Manuel. A lot of people were in the movie, a lot, all the career again. You know, came back again in this movie, you know, all joined forces together to fight and then they go their ways and come back again for some years then. As always, I would definitely always leave that you do leave us a comment, tell us what you do think and like about Fast and Furious 9. If you agree with me or not, it's fine. I totally understand. This is just my verdict and I'm not putting it on anyone. You have a right to choose if you like it or not. I would be more than happy to hear what you think. Follow us across at my own video ng across social media platforms and we always want to hear from you. As always, make sure you do take care of yourself, have fun, and enjoy your time till I come your way again. I mean you know what's in that on the real. Thanks for watching. No matter how fast you are. I am not too big compared to you. No one outruns their past. I am more easy, you trying your this is my world. Damn, they got a magnet plane? Hold on. Tell me you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. There's no bridge! Oh, hell no.